Yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And yes, that's right, it is time for the showdown. We've got some teams lined up on the C2 team. We've got Helmsman Ash. Hello. Able crew, Eric. And then on the Tiger team, I'm gonna be driving the boat and pulling the strings, making it go. Got Ross. Hello. We are gonna go and see who can go fastest. Okay, so we're on board. Hobie Tiger number four. All right, All do you right. wanna grab the downhaul there, Ross? So if we get too much power, you can just Come crank on, it on a bit. Okay, so we are hauling past a little bit, but that's because team C2 aren't quite in the saddle gym? just yet. And off we go. What a lovely evening for a sail here in Vasiliki Bay. Maybe see if you can wind the jib in a little bit more as well. All right, not to work, we can't. Okay, that's good. That's nice. Okay, so at the moment, it looks like they've got a bit more power on the C2. So when we're a bit underpowered, we'll just come very slightly forward. What we're trying to do is just make sure the rounded part of the hull is in the water at all times. Now, you will be noticing that the uh, sail choices on both boats are perhaps not what you might get from the manufacturer out of the box. Uh, that's because we are of course sailing from Wild Wing Sailing Holidays which is a holiday based sailing school. So on the Tiger we're running with a pair of OS3s custom made main and jib and then on the C2 they're actually riding with some old Hobie Tiger sails. That's because somebody chose to jump through the original uh, C2 sails uh, quite recently. But because it's an F18, the sails are fairly similar. All right, so Ash is just pulling ahead there a bit. We can't quite match his pointing ability. He's got much le longer dagger boards. But I think we're going to want to bear away here anyway. So we've done leg one, we're just having a bit of a restart. So th this is kind of like a point of sail drag race kind of thing rather than around the course. So to get ready for putting the kite up, we're of course going to put the dagger boards up. What's that, about a foot above the deck, 48 centimetres, which is probably not a foot. Okay, so going for the hoist. Well, whenever you're ready, nice. Eric, you want to That's go for the hoist, tight tack, bro. Getting the tack line tight, essential because once the spinnaker's yeah, up, good. oh my word, look at that spinnaker. Yes, that's right. It's Joyrider versus Wild Wind. All right. Okay, we'll go for, ready for the jive. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Okay, go jiving. Ahead. Here we go, gentlemen, start your engines. Do you want to bring your weight back a bit, Eric? Okay. Oh, the C2 is pulling away a bit there. Just try easing off a little bit on the kite there, Russ. Nice. All right, we'll just stall it. So We're going a bit higher to try to keep the power on. They're coming above us now. Nice. Just going to bear off so they can come up. Is that? Just going to bear away so they All can right, catch so us up a bit. Okay. Or we'll head up back now. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, so quite evenly matched for pace in this breeze. I'm actually going to grab my stick so I can get a bit further forward. Not so windy, well, but of course with Fair the enough. stick in hand, I'm having to hold it a little bit further back. Are you out there, Eric? All just good? to make sure yeah. I'm not nice, whacking Ross in the chops with it out a little bit for the lull. Okay, come on wind. Yeah, so the C2, he says, biggest gust of the day, but um, seems to be enjoying a bit more power than the Tiger. 
or perhaps it's because it's a bit quicker it's producing a bit more induced wind okay Ash let's go for the drop drop all right we're gonna okay go do you want to come in and we'll drop Don't it bear off do you want to come in yeah all right whenever you're ready man drop from here. yeah we'll drop from here Ready? Yeah, okay, ready. a bit more wind now. Probably getting on for about 15 knots. What do you reckon, Ross? 15 knots. So, All right, coming out. as well as the sails that we're rolling with, yeah, you come back a little bit. So, we're kind of. Oh, let's have some jib on. Oh, we're also rolling with the. Uh, I've got the Zero Shoes, uh, Aqua Pro X, definitely my favourite pair of shoes, period. Let's go drop down on the trapeze, do you fancy a bit of that? Yeah, let's have it. So, now that we've got some constant wind, we'll trapeze a little bit lower. So running with the sun gods, I've got the Arias, I think they're called. Ross is rolling with the Vulcans. Okay, we'll just come a little bit further back. Okay, so we lined up again. Yes, yeah, so we're now in the Windward 30 Wind Vortex, just off the C2's uh, starboard quarter. Some dirty wind in that quarter, I can tell you. Can slip and smell it. Yeah, just come back a little bit, Ross. So when we're like full power, yeah, just slightly behind the stagger board for a maximum amount of lift. Yeah, so it gets a little bit gusty here as we approach the mountain. Right, Ash, we're going to go for attack just to take it in a little bit. Right. Do you want to get ready for the tack? All right, so we're going to tack in three, two, one. Here we go. Coming in. Yeah. Sorry. Are we? Um, let's go. All right, we're ready so, when you are. Right. run number two. Yeah. This time we're going to stay on start oh. attack. Yes, that's right that we've got on for the Tiger is a whirlwind sails, one of a kind, with the Joyrider TV branding, but you'll agree it looks pretty spicy. All right. So, all right, Ross, yeah, I think you can stretch your legs there. All right, I think we've got a bit more breeze this time. Oh, we're getting covered at the moment. Breeze back on. Just head up. Get okay, Ross, let's in. have it. There we go. 13 knots. Yeah, nice work on the kite there, Eric. We're going to come up again. They've just hit a gust. We'll be able to go down with them very shortly. And coming down now. Lovely. Oh, we'll take that. We will take it. Nice. Currently, we seem to be going a fair bit lower than the Tiger. We're able to hold our hull up just a little bit more. Um, I think the crew weights are fairly even. Um, but certainly looks like we can take the gusts down a little bit further than them. They are going deeper on the C2. Big gusts on the Tiger. I like to think that we've got the pace. This whirlwind sail spinnaker is pulling like a pack of wild dogs. Oh yes, we are nice. cooking some spicy beans here for everyone in Arizona. Woohoo! No, this is good trim, man. Okay, you want to come in? Pull the tack line back on and we'll go for a jive. 
That's what we're going to do. You heard it here first. Okay, let's have it. And really pull it down just to see if that will hold any better. Okay, you ready for the jive? All right, here we go. All right, so it looks here like comes they're going the Eric. I'll bear off. Do you want to come in? Stalled the jive there a little bit, unfortunately. We're back in. They're above us now. Oh. Looks like we're getting rolled. We'll head back up. Bit of pressure coming on now. Got to ease that kite, Eric. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, stitch in the stick. See if We've we got can't a bit more get them back. power now. Okay, nice man. Ross is doing a fine job trimming the kite. Okay, I think that's time to go for the drop, Ross. Yeah, lovely. All right, looks like we're going for a drop. Okay. Do you want to come in? I'll take us down. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, ready when you are, man. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, have it in your hand. An slip. Oh, Eric oh. just had a little slip. <laughs> We've Whoa. had a slippage. Little slip there. On board the C2. Oh, See, they've yeah. got a lot of shape in their main Eric always got very wet there. I would say they probably want a bit more downhill down maybe on board there. Crank but, that um, on. Yeah, so if we fly a hull to the point where I'd probably have to sheet out instead of sheeting out, you crank her. Well. Yeah. Don't see much pinching. Crank the down all, yeah, go for it there. Nice, really feel that. It's almost like the boat goes weightless for a second. All right, all right, this is more like it. We've got some breeze now, we're probably up to about 16 knots. Right, just come back one step, that's it. Let's drop down. It's what the, it's what the crowds pay the money to see. Oh. So we're just drop, we're dropping down and we're dropping down. So Ash has gained a bit of height there on the C2. But to keep fighting to stay out of his dirty on this upwind leg. Drone pilot today is Phil from uh, Protography. He's been taking some great shots for us this summer. All right, and I think it's not going to be long until we want to tack. I suppose we should check where we're going to tack into. Going to shorten the trapeze a little bit, make the tack a little bit more fluent. Yeah, right, you ready, Ross? Right, I'll give you a count from three. On, on zero we go. So three, two, one, and we're going there. Right, it looks like they're going for the tack. Okay. So we will follow. Okay, and the wind is getting sweet. This is the wind that they talked about. We're doing okay. Yeah, so the C2 has clearly done us on this upwind leg. Go, go, go. Eric with the muscles aboard the C2 here. And we'll head up. Do you want to ease that kite off? Help us power up. Nice. Oh. They're over the top of us. I'll take that if you want. Got it, Eric? Nice job, man. All right, I'm going to oversheet a bit. Let's see if we can slow down. All right, we've got some yeah, so, up to do here. Okay, this shows the effect of oversheating. Because we want to keep the two boats together as much as we can. So now we see the Wild Wind C2 gain a bit of pace. Right. Yeah, get hooked on. Yeah, we need to right, sheet. So when Ross sheets out, 
We should really feel the juice come on. Okay, let's go. Head down. Time to go. Legged. All right, we'll head up now. All right. So we just need that gust to get down a little bit. Feet out a little bit. I oh, know. You were right. All right, lovely. We can go for it now. There we go. It's like a turbo yeah, when yeah. that gust hits. Tiger is really showing that there's not as much difference in it on the downwind leg. Ross doing a great job there with the kite swimming. Oh, we've got some speed now. Yeah, we're up to 18 knots on the speed putt. Nice man. 19 knots and steady. <laughs> this is great. So the science here is by flying the hull a little bit higher, we've got more surface area to stop the boat from diving. You could probably come back a little bit there, Ross. Yeah, nice. Little dig of the bows there. Okay, and we'll we'll take the power off there, Ross. Okay, you come back in. All right. All right, Probably three boats now lined up one. in this battle royale. Up. Yeah, let's have a bit more downhaul on. The battle to the death. Love it. We're in a literal shadow and a wind shadow simultaneously. <laughs> it, I tell you what you feel quite a lot when you get the downhaul right is it just lightens the load on the rudder. Because the rudders on the Tiger aren't as light as on the C2. They're Still quite a low aspect rudder blade on the Hobie Tiger compared to the high aspect blades on the C2. So it's really light all the time on that boat. But if um, with the Tiger, if you've got too much load in the mainsail for the wind, then uh, you feel it. Okay, and the telemetry that you've been seeing for this video is from Telemetry Overlay. The best telemetry you can get for your videos. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that. Unfortunately, that's a little bit difficult for us. <laughs> I'm sure I fancy that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, the C2 is really punching there. Oh, I just want to get an overlap with the camera. Too quick. Is it because he's got two rudders? I don't think so. We're doing fine with one. Closing up as we reach the barrier of yachts. I'm just gonna duck the, duck the tip to leeward. How are we going to stop? <laughs> okay, and let's go back onto the boat there. All right. Nice one, Ross. Can you get this board up first? What a finish. Okay, so there we go. I think the evidence is in. The C2 definitely dominates on the upwind. But on the downwind, it's much more even. 
just like to thank Chip for the kite. That kite is an absolute loaded weapon. I would say if you're looking for a Formula 18 spinnaker in the US, then get on the phone to Chip at Whirlwind Sales. That thing pulls like a pack of dogs. <laughs>